In chemistry, the mole is the unit of measurement that measures amount of substance. If you have a mole of a substance, it means you have an amount that contains the same number of particles of that substance as there are carbon atoms in a sample of 12 grams of the carbon isotope carbon-12. It turns out that there are 6.022214179 times 10 to the power of 23 carbon atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12. That's a very big number. Imagine the number 6 with 23 zeros after it. That's approximately how many atoms there are in 12 grams of carbon-12. This number is known as Avogadro's constant, because no matter what substance you are talking about, one mole of that substance contains that number of particles of the substance. So a mole of hydrogen atoms equates to about 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of hydrogen. Similarly, a mole of oxygen atoms is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of oxygen. You can work out the mass of one mole of atoms of any element by simply looking up its relative atomic mass and saying there are that number of grams per mole. For example, helium has a relative atomic mass of 4, so helium has a molar mass of 4 grams per mole. Gold has a relative atomic mass of about 197, so gold has a molar mass of 197 grams per mole. This means that 200 grams of gold contain more than 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 individual gold atoms. You have to be careful when you talk about a mole of stuff like hydrogen and oxygen. In nature, elemental hydrogen exists as a diatomic molecule, or a molecule made up of two hydrogen atoms bonded together. So a mole of H2 gas contains two moles of hydrogen atoms or a number of hydrogen atoms equating to twice times Avogadro's constant. The molar mass of molecular hydrogen as a consequence is twice that of atomic hydrogen. The molar mass of atomic hydrogen is 1 gram per mole, so the molar mass of molecular hydrogen is 2 grams per mole. Likewise, in nature, elemental oxygen typically exists as diatomic O2 molecules. So a mole of the oxygen we breathe contains two moles of oxygen atoms and has a molar mass of 32 grams per mole or double the molar mass of atomic oxygen. Let's do a similar calculation for water. A molecule of water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So a mole of water contains two moles of hydrogen atoms and one mole of oxygen atoms. To work out the molar mass of water, you just add up the relative atomic masses of its individual atomic components. So the molar mass of water is 1 plus 1 plus 16, which equals 18 grams per mole. One gram of liquid water occupies a volume of 1 milliliter. So a mole of water is 18 mils, or about one tablespoon. Just think, when you swallow a tablespoon of water, you are imbibing around 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 individual molecules of H2O.